This video is going to demonstrate on how to use the Virtual Sign-In Board Manager. There are two parts of the Virtual Sign-In Board. The first part is the Manager, which we're going to go over here, and the second part is the Web App that you use on your phone. And we'll go over that in the next video. The Virtual Sign-In Board Manager is where you go to manage your sign-in boards. You can perform such functions as change zone maps, edit zones, edit members, and so on. The first thing you need to do is to log into the manager by going to www.virtualsigninboard.com and clicking on the manager button at the top. Then enter your email address and password you use when you sign up for your account. Then click the login button. This is the main screen of your manager. At the top it tells you how to load the web app on your mobile phone. Next there is a link to change your member settings. This is where you would change your email address, passwords, etc. One new feature for this year is VSIB allows you to enter an emergency text number. This will allow you to send an emergency text in case you need to, plus it will show up for the administrators in the member list if they need to contact someone on your behalf. Let us go back to the main page and continue. The next section of this page shows if you are a member of any existing sign-in boards. In this case, I'm a member of the Osceola Hunt Club sign-in board. The next section shows where you can manage your sign-in boards. Finally, there are how-to videos at the bottom in which you are watching one of these right now. At any time, if you have a question as to what a particular page does, then click the help button at the top shown here and it will expand with an explanation. The first thing we want to do is click on the add new signing board link which is shown right here. So the whole purpose of this video is to show you how to use it, so I'm going to put in a hunting club I'm familiar with. So with that said, I'm going to enter in Mulberry Creek for the name. Next is the weather zip, which is the zip code location of where your signing board is located. We pull temperature, wind direction, and wind speed from a weather service and we will display them for your members when they are reserving a zone. This is helpful when selecting what zone you want to hunt. Select your time zone next in order to configure the reserve times for your signing board to your local area. Then enter in your emergency notification mobile phone number. This number will be used to text an alert when a member does not unreserve a zone by the 9.30 p.m. log off time. Now you can select to show your members zone history reports. These reports allow members to run a query for a date range in which it will show who and how many times a zone has been hunting. Next you will need to select a sign in start time. This is the time when your members can start reserving zones for next day's hunts. It defaults to 9 p.m. and goes to 7 a.m. the next day. The next option is what additional reports and services should show up on your signing board. These are harvest reports, news, to-do lists, and member lists. The first three are pretty much self-explanatory, but member lists is a new one this year. This feature will show a list of signed up members by their names, email address, mobile cell numbers, and emergency contact number. All of these are defaulted to yes. As we go down, the next is use observation reporting when a member signs out. If this is selected yes, when a member signs out of a zone they have hunted more than an hour during hunting hours, they will be given the option to fill out an observation report. Finally, allow members to re-reserve zones will give the option to a member to re-reserve his current reserve zone for the next day's hunt before signing out. There are footnotes at the bottom that describe all of these options that we went over to help you when you create your signing board. Now click the submit button to create the signing board and you will get a pop-up window informing you that you were successful in creating it. Click OK. Now we are back at the main page of the manager and you will see Mulberry Creek the one that we created. You will see six options next to it in the manage section. Now let us go over these six options. We're going to start with the delete board link found next to your signing board name. This option will delete your signing board, your zone map, remove all your members and delete all your zones. This is an irreversible step and once done you will have no chance of recovery. You will have to start over if you do this by mistake. One thing to note is that we will not remove any members virtual signing board account. They will still have access to their account. It just removes the signing board that you deleted. Next option is Manage Zones Link. This is where you add your zone map and zones. For this example, let us add our zones. Click the Manage Zones link as I'm showing you. 
We use the word zones for our locations. We've used it for a few years and it's worked out well because we divide our property into zones. Some people might want to use specific locations such as the back right away stand or front pee patch and so on. The signing board will work for all these cases. The first thing you want to do is create a zone map. It is not really required to have one in order to use a signing board, but it's a nice touch to be able to show your members your location. Let me show you the one we have created for one of our clubs. I created this from an image that I downloaded from Google Maps, and I used Photoshop to draw the zones. Don't let this scare you if you do not know how to use Photoshop. I'm going to show you how to do a zone map the easy way. I have a property where they send us an area map in our lease package. I took that area map and drew four zones as I'm showing you with a Sharpie marker. I then took a picture of it with my smartphone and now I can upload it to the signing board. Here is an example of the same area map but instead I put in my tree stand locations and took a picture of it. This easy way will work and will get you up and running with little effort. Now that I have my zone map I can upload it by clicking on choose file button as I'm showing you here and selecting that image and clicking the upload button. As you can see it is uploading the file so be patient during this process. Now there is my zone map. Everyone who accesses our signing board on the web app will see that image. You can re-upload a new one if you need to, plus you can click the delete zone image map link if you need to delete it. We can now enter our locations. I'm going to add Z1 for zone 1 and so on, but here is where you can enter your custom name such as Bat Right Away or Powerline Tower Stand and so on. If you enter one by mistake or misspell it, then just click the delete button to remove it. New for this year is the option to add push pins to your zone maps. Click the manage zone pins to use this feature. Here you will see a step by step approach to adding pins. Step 1 you choose your zone name. Step 2 you move your cursor over your image and click the location you want to add it. The page will immediately refresh with your push pin on your map. You can now keep adding your pins. If you do not like the location you can select the zone and repeat the selection method to replace that location or you can click the delete pin link to delete it manually. The final image will show below of all your push pins. If you want to delete all your push pin locations then all you have to do is click the delete all pin location link at the bottom. It is that easy. When the member reserves a zone it will show up as a red pin. If the zone is available it will show up as a yellow pin. We are now finished. We have a zone map and there's our four zones. Let us go back to the main page in the manager and do the final step of inviting members to our sign-in board. We will click on the manage members link now. This page is divided into three sections. The first section is the existing members section. It will show you what members have joined your sign-in board. If you want to remove a member you can do that by clicking the delete link. The next section is the invited members section. This will show you the members you have invited but have not accepted the join invitation sent to their email. From here you can resend the invite email. You can also delete the invitation by clicking the delete link if you need to. The last section is used to enter in members you want to invite. Let us enter in one to show you. If the member has an existing VSIB account, they will automatically be added to your signing board. If they do not have a VSIB account, an email will be sent out asking them to join. I'm going to enter one for me and have it go to my other email account at Gmail. When you click the submit button, an email is sent out to that member. Here is what the email looks like in my Gmail account. When I click on this link, since I do not have an existing VSIB account, it will ask me to create one. And once I have created it, it will automatically join me to the Mulberry Creek signing board. Another feature you have available is to give another member administrative rights. They will not be able to change these settings, but it is highly recommended that you at least make one member an alternate for safety reasons. If something were to happen to you, the main administrator, then a safety text would go to this alternate. The next option is settings. This is the same page you will use when adding a signing board as I'm showing you now. You can use this link if you need to change some of the basic information such as weather, zip, or emergency contact number and so on. New for this season is the custom reports link. This page allows you to create custom reports for your signing board. We have another video to describe this feature so watch the video if you're interested in custom reports. And the final option is download data. This page allows you to download all your signing board data in a tab to limit text file. Just right click on the download all data link and it will ask you to save the file to your computer. You can then open this file in a program such as Microsoft Excel or any other program that can read a text file. That is it for setting up a signing board. Make sure you watch our next video on how to use the web app. Thanks for watching and good luck hunting.